Today we have a nice tutorial video for you, but it's a little bit unusual. We have a torn uh, down jacket and I've never torn a down jacket before, so therefore I've never re repaired one. I've never researched how to repair one, never seen one on YouTube. So I have recruited an expert. This is Don Peterson and he owns a dive shop and does a lot of gear repair for scuba gear. And there is quite a bit of crossover between scuba and hiking gear when it comes to repair. And if you're wondering that it seems sort of odd that we have the last same name, it is not. This is my husband. And he is going to explain a little bit about what we're going to do today. Great. Uh, well, this was an 800 weight down jacket and it probably lost a little bit of its weight to our, because of our uh, help of our dog during a practice hike. And what we found is a product that's by Gear Aid. There's a distributor of a product called Tenacious Tape. And I'll let Diane show that up to you uh, close there. The uh, rolls come in, in, in a nice long roll here for the, di uh, for the uh, uh, repair. And so what we decided to do is get the color that was closest to the jacket. And in doing so, what you'll want to take it, you want to take the uh, uh, tape and you want to uh, out and you want to have to cut it uh, with a little bit of extra room over the size of the cut. Meaning you want to leave, I would probably recommend at least a minimum of an inch plus or inch and a quarter over the tear to give you a little bit of more grab on the material once you adhere it to it. And this is, this is an L-shaped cut. So this was not a straight line. It also wasn't jaggedy, but it was, uh, I pre-sewed it and tried to, you know, stuff in and cut off some of the extra feathers, but it, it, it is an odd shape to try to patch. Yeah. Uh, so, so what I did is I, I took the uh, correct color from the three inch by 20 inch in the pack. And I cut out a uh, piece that was gonna cover the hole in the right size. And I rounded the corners as it recommends on the package. So what you wanna do, and that, that way it won't grab uh, a sharp corner and start peeling up. And if you're out on a hike, you really want to do the best job you can before you either uh, get back and do a, a, a professional repair. You want to clean the, the area that you're going to patch as much as you can. So if you have any dirt or grime on the uh, fabric, you're going to use like an isopro alcohol. And after it's cleaned, you'll want to have, if you have anybody to help, you want to have them hold the fabric completely flat out so that you have no wrinkles or any area where you're going to have some gapping. You want the fabric to lay completely flat. And once you're ready to do so, I'm going to do a kind of a dry fit. So you have a nice little backing on your, your patch. And when you lay it down, you want to kind of lay it down as if you're going to patch it for your first time. And do a practice patch. And when you're happy with that, you're going to go ahead and peel off your first part here. So I'm going to have Diane grab the piece of the back side here and I'm going to peel off the very back start of the patch and it's ready to go down. And as I come in, it's going to want to grab at the fabric the first time you touch it. And as I do so, I've got it on there and in the directions it'll say Push the uh, patch from the inside out if there's any bubbling or uh, warping on the fabric. I have this laid down like this, and as I laid back, I'm going to start grabbing the... And by the way, there's no warping. He's such a pro at this. <laughs> and then, as I pull this stick backing off the, the patch, and I'm going to work it forward... And as I do so, I can work my thumbs, but Diane's there, and voila. I got a tiny wrinkle over there. One little wrinkle, but in a field fix. My little wrinkle is bothering, but that's, that, that's actually pretty good. It came out a lot better than I thought it would. This is actually not unlike uh, putting on a tagaderm or a waterproof 
bandage out in the field. So when we talk about doubling up on equipment so that you're not carrying more than you need, you're also doubling up on your skills. So you can patch your down jacket if you need to, or you can do wound care if that's necessary. So there you have it, yeah. you guys. We have a patched up sleeve on a down jacket. I'm headed out to a hike tomorrow, so I will report on how that worked. I think this is going to hold up really well. I really do. And this, it's, this is lightweight stuff yeah. and, and makes a great addition to your repair kit that you're carrying on the trail. Thank you, Don. This was awesome. This was a lot simpler than what I had anticipated. It took way longer to actually sew that up. So that is also something to keep in mind. If you've got a little sewing kit on the trail, um, that may take quite a bit longer and not be as effective. So we appreciate your expertise. And I'm going to give you a kiss. Thank Thanks you. A Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. It's early days with this new patch, but so far, it's working pretty good.